Went over the over the score, the table at the end, and the idea that he'd get back up and intercept that ball. What does that say about him? Oh, and he's tough. I mean, first of all, it was, it was our own fault. I think we kind of yeah. screwed the play up. And then uh, for him to go save it, I don't know if he threw it between his legs or threw it back behind his back, and, and then to jump over the table and then go steal it, and then have the easiest basket of the game, and then dribble it out of bounds. So he, he showed a little bit of everything. If I'm not mistaken, that was all the same play. He showed a little bit of everything. That was a good basketball game. That was two teams competing hard against each other. Certainly, I thought they played very well, and I thought uh, they had some individuals have exceptional nights. I thought I thought Dean was terrific. The one dude was great on the glass, and uh, you know DJ always gives us problems. But, but uh, I, I, I thought uh, I thought our guys competed really hard. If you take away one statistic, well, two, you know we don't make free throws, but, but if you take away uh, uh, you know the defensive board play, you know we really guarded to die. You know what? I'm biased, but uh, he, he makes big plays. He makes hard shots. He doesn't shoot near as many free throws as I think maybe sometimes he should. Uh, but but uh, uh, on on the ball defender game point, he's about as good as he is. So he, 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 he does a lot of things to, to give a team a chance to win. How big are those things? I mean, a couple years ago, Jamari had the play similar to that, that all-out hustle. I mean, those types of things. Well, that one we actually scored on. This one, we didn't turn it over. So uh, mm -hmm. he could have saved some energy and, and uh, just deflected it out of bounds. Uh, uh, yeah, those, those are big. I, I, I think those plays uh, define seasons. Uh, I think there's always something that happens in the season that would be a defining moment. I don't know that that's it at all. I'm not saying that. But I think, I think and it's always a, a, a extra possession hustle play that means the most to you. When Josh gets his uh, fourth foul with 10 minutes left, um, what factors go into when you bring him back? And all that? I, was, I, I, I was thinking, Tom, the whole time, as long as we had the lead, I was going to try to keep him on the bench as long as possible. And I think we subbed him with about 5.58 or six minutes left, something like that. I could be wrong. But, but uh, I was just trying to keep him over there as long as, long as we could. Coach, Dean Wade scored 20 in both games against you guys. What's been the mismatch problem with the him. I don't know that there's been a mismatch problem. I just think he's a good player. Uh, you know, uh, he's a Kansas kid. He's playing against KU. Just like Perry Ellis was a Kansas kid playing against K-State. He always played well against K-State. I don't think that's totally unusual. I do think, though, when you're switching ball screens and he can roll in the post and do some things with the smaller guy on him, I do think they played with that quite a bit. And, and, and he hurt us with that some. But, but uh, uh, he's a good player. And he shot the head count. Three or three, three. We knew he could shoot, but we didn't. Yeah. Some more you know, what was this victory coming off a loss? Excuse me. How important was this victory for you guys coming off a loss? Well, I think it was an important victory, regardless of what happened this past Saturday. But I, I always think whenever you're coming off a loss, there's a little bit more pressure the next game to go get one. And of course, you don't get this one, then you got you go to Lubbock, and then you got West Virginia. I mean, our league is a monster, and so so I, I think anytime you can you can. You know, the key to having great seasons is ex extend the positive momentum as long as possible, and then the negative momentum you need to cut it off as, as short as possible. It's, it's always good. It's always good to get a win right after the loss. Do you like the way Bragg got competed tonight? Yeah, yeah I, th I thought Carlton did fine. I, I did. You know, he, 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 uh, to be honest with you, I, I thought he gave us some great minutes the first half. I thought he did. Did, did you sense urgency about Wesley one This might have been like the last time he was able to play you guys tonight. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, did you sense the urgency of Wesley Awandu tonight? I, I think I, I don't know how you guys felt, but I thought the way they started the game, I sensed urgency from everybody. I mean, Stokes was great. Uh, 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 Wesley, obviously, is a terrific talent and player. And he, you know, he played well. And, and uh, I, I, I think it was, it was a good rivalry game. I, I think it was a, I thought both teams competed pretty hard. Bill, what do you uh, think of Speed's three? Biggest shot of the game, yeah. Because if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong in my memory, but I think they went up one by making a three right before that, and we ran a little play to get Josh the ball in the post, and they converged, and he made a great pass to Speed. You know, Speed wasn't a huge factor tonight offensively, but to me that was the biggest shot of the game. If I'm not mistaken, we got to stop, and we pushed back to four right after that. So that was, that was big. You were, you were concerned about the fatigue on Saturday. How do you think the stamina was tonight? Uh, you know, I don't know that he helped Frank a lot because he didn't sub for Frank. But, uh, he may have helped Landon a little bit. Uh, 
Uh, we, I don't think we ever played two bigs at the same time tonight. We, we, I was going to do that, but the way Wade was shooting, I didn't, I didn't want to do that much. And, and, uh, uh, but, you know, you know, he helped, but, but the guys that, that are the most fatigued, obviously, are the guards, and so, he, you know, he didn't help with that. Bill, is it fair to say that Frank embodies the toughness you want in the team? I mean, is that, is that on? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that, you know, toughness doesn't mean you're going to play well. And certainly we make some bonehead plays, but, but uh, uh, he loves to compete. And, and uh, uh, I, I, I think he's about as tough as any kid I've ever been around. What's your play call for Mason when you flatten it down and go, go basically wrong when you got him at the top? How's that reference from the sideline? Ask Jesse. He knows all our plays. He tells everybody on what our plays are. So just ask Jesse. <laughs> Josh uh, got a lot better as a three-point shooter, and he said confidence is a big factor. Can he do that as a free-throw shooter? Is that harder or easier? You know what? Uh, 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 no, I, I don't think it's harder. But the one thing about shooting the ball from the perimeter, you don't have time to think about it. With the free-throw, you've got 10 seconds to think about it. So I thought tonight it looked a little mental. But, but, but then I thought that the one he made late was soft. So, so uh, uh, I think he can make them. I think he will make them. We, we, we're not going to take him out to, to avoid him getting fouled. He's going to have to make them because the ball's going to be in his hand in late game situations as we move forward. Anything else? Bill, down 12, after losing a game, were you, what was your move? Was it too early to, to worry about it? Yeah, you know, there's – we, we, we were at 14 and a half the other day, too. So, so being down 12, uh, obviously, is no way you want to start in, a, in an atmosphere like this. But, but uh, you know, it's, 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 not, it's, it's significant, but it's not the end of the earth. But, but, but you need to have a couple of guys make plays after that. And even when it got to 2014 or whatever it was, I think our guys relaxed a little bit after that. You guys knew what you were stepping into here in terms of the atmosphere. Um, but it really seemed like they thrived on it. Frank was, yeah. you know, I told him to. I, I, I'll be honest, the crowd helped us win the game. Now, there's no doubt about that. I, that's, what, that's all we talked about was use their energy to, to, to give you energy. And, and uh, we even talked about different scenarios and how it was going to help us. And I think, I think it did. I, I think the crowd uh, uh, energized our guys. I think they really enjoyed playing. All right, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.